doesn't seem very good. Okay. Keyword bats, if you'd like a uh, code. Goblin Taskmaster. All right. Um, no, I don't want to get packs. That's a lie. Kind of want to draft again. I don't really want to pay that entry fee in gems. All right, let's draft one more. Let me just see quickly. All right. Okay. So what do we have starting out? Three, three, death touch for three. When you pay X, when you do, return target creature card, convert him out from your graveyard to the battlefield with a corpse counter. If the creature would leave the battlefield, exile instead. Ah, Chatter Private's finer, because I've got so many to give away, man. Thank you for the offer, but they gave me a lot. So that card seems okay to me. Death Touch on a 3-3 three, three for 3 is good with a secondary effect. If I ever get to attack with it, I get to cool, get to resurrect shit. Seems really solid. Uh, the Courser has been amazing. I don't know that card wins games though, and the Corsair might actually win games. Oh, I'm a, I'm a, I can feel it internally. I'm a little tilted from those games, the, those last set of games. No, she's supposedly amazing. All right, let's grab her. I uh, take the symbiont. The ogre is pretty good too. Has some black red synergy. I like this symbiont, but it's not gonna beat that stupid vampire light gain shit. Thanks, Mad Dog. See you later. Either of these could be good. It's gotta be the symbiont over the ogre for a pick this early, right? The ogre seems good, but it doesn't seem that good. I don't see any way in which that's unlikely. The dragon and the uh, black deck did surprisingly little for us. I think he won us one game by himself and held that game off a little bit longer. Maybe the rest of the deck just wasn't good enough to support him. Well, the ogre's not being rated very high, I assume, because not that su not super easy to sacrifice to him. The ogre seems good to me. All right, take the symbiont. Fine with that. Second pick, different colors. Two colors already is a little awkward. Bone Archer seems fine to me. Ghouls, whatever. Grilled Sea Serpent seems decent, but I think the Archer's better. What is Salvador Secrets? Bounces Instance of Sorceries. Omen Speaker's good too. I think I'm taking the Archer. All right. Hey, the Shield Artificer. Any combat target creature you control gets plus two, plus two, and gains indestructible. Artifact creature. Okay. Maximum hand size. Lol, lol, lol. Child of Night seems decent. Let's get Child of Night here. I think the Artificer is a solid creature, but not amazing, right? Yeah. Slightly right it's slightly above um Child of Night though. For opening picks. Alright. Miss Scholar's garbage. Uncomfortable chill and scholar of stars. Ew. Scholar of stars and try to think of some artifacts that we want for this. Uh, the waltz or the two-headed zombie. I'd probably take the two-headed zombie. 
don't see much else in here I want to play. Okay. Uh, that seems okay. This is pretty uninspiring. I guess the Wall of Mist is okay, as is the Uncomfortable Chill. I don't really like Uncomfortable Chill. I mean, it's all right. Draw a card on it, it's nice. No, I think I'm gonna wall miss as well. Seems weird picking a wall. Cancel mind rot, infectious horror, forsaken sanctuary, or explosive apparatus. I'm leaning between cancel and explosive apparatus with a little bit of a look at forsaken sanctuary. Let's be splash a white bomb, but a lot of the white bombs are two whites, and then the removals also fairly timely. I assume the apparatus has got to be better than cancel. We have artifact synergy with Scholar of Stars. Uh, two, three body for three is okay. It's garbage. Uncomfortable chill, probably. Green uncommon. Take the second uncomfortable chill, but it's probably more than we're playing already. Ghost form times two. Island, nice. Mentor of the meek. That sounds incredible. Oh, there's the wind condition card. I have to get life gain with this though. I mean, I can still go black white here. We picked some blue. So what? Card literally wins games. It just beat us single handedly by itself with no other cards needed for three fucking games. All right. Mana fixing. Pretty solid white removal card. Blue black dual land. I think I'm taking luminous bonds. Uh, sky scanner seems okay here. It seems like that's not going to be that great. So if we look at this as more of a late blue splash. That's garbage. I don't want another wall of mist with the way we're drafting. It's definitely between that and the sky scanner. And I guess I'm leaning towards sky scanner. It's a one damage nuke for one. It's not terrible. Uh, three, two, Drake, blue, skeleton archer again, or sky marcher. Sky marcher seems really solid. How does sky marcher pair up in early game pick power versus the sky marcher versus the skeleton? Yeah. Rise from the grave was strong. This card was strong too, although I'm not gonna have the blue for it. There's another archer there. Some mana fixing for white black. That seems really valuable to us. I think I have Forsaken Sanctuary here. Okay. 
Sun Cleanser. Seems bad. Mighty Leap. These all seem quite bad to us. To me. To you. To us. To us as a team. I guess the Mighty Leap feels more interesting to me than the Sun Cleanser. Target opponent loses all counters. What counters can we get in this set? Like nothing, right? Like there's some plus one, plus one stuff on creatures, but there's nothing on players. So most of the time this is a one, four for four, right? Or maybe a one, four, remove minus one, minus one counter. Nice blocker stats, but look at our mana distribution chat. We have almost no early game white, which means we're gonna be blue, black primary with a little bit of white for late game. We're probably not seeing this guy to be useful early. Sideboard duress, I guess. Neonate and Child of Night and Epicure of Blood all have synergy with their deck, as does the Chaplain. The Chaplain's a little bit slow. Kind of like the Child of Night again. Kind of want that Epicure. Kind of want the Neonate. Go light blue splash. Light blue splash, maybe. Not with the cards we have right now, but if stuff is offered. I mean, it seems like a pretty solid argument. Where does this guy... Neonate guys over Child of Night or Epicure of Blood just because of that bat combo? window don't love the card I have some artifacts I don't think it's good enough to play uh, I'm gonna draft this for sideboard already got a duress for sideboard a second wall of mist I would take a Bog Stomper. Not excited about that pick. Take a Mine Rot. Take a Sovereign's Bite. Take infectious Horror. Those went quick. Demon of Catastrophe. 6444 Flying Trample Sacrifice Creature. Seems totally doable. Okay. Anything else? Vampire Sovereign in there as well. And Herald of Faith. This is a really good pack. That's a really solid effect, too. 6-6 six, six Flyer, though. Seems pretty powerful. It's not per turn, right? Nope. Just a cast. It's got to be a bomb, right? It's just so fucking powerful. Sure is. Okay. All right. Child of Night again. Take Vengeance. Seems like a thing I might want. It's kind of weak removal, but we're a slow deck. Sky Patrol. Have no green. Not getting green. Skull of Stars again. Disperse versus a Scholar of Stars. We have two playable artifacts. I don't think I need to go two ape shit on Scholars of Stars. This is really low value though. Oh, Mirror Image. I didn't even see this card for some reason. Copy of a creature you control. Yeah, it seems like it has some synergy with her deck. I can grab that. 
Um, another tick, Vengeance. The center for sacrifice, early game, omen speaker for early game, blocking and stalling, skilled animator. All of these seem good for us. That one, that one, that one, and actually that one's not even bad for us, but that one, that one, that one, that one. I don't know between the Dissenter and the Omen Speaker. How's our deck curve look like right now? Some really slow twos that have no synergy with each other. Bunch of threes. Don't really need another three right now. I want twos to sacrifice too. So, Omen Speaker, Deserter. Deserter really claims that, but man. I want to play that early. Too valuable with our sacrifices. Yeah, I think the scries, I really wanted them both. Oh my god. Um, it's interesting, either tunnel, I quite like the card. The card is actually super strong. Um, that card's really good again, and oh, this isn't what I thought it was. So that was the flyer. I really want that Epicure of Blood. But I don't think I am. I think I'm taking either the either Tunnel or the Omen Speaker again. Black 3, Lich, two artifacts. So disperse a ghost form, epicure of blood. I think I'm taking that. Frang omnipotence. Nope. Oh, this knight. Artifact. Disperse a drake as a flyer for four. Seems good. Either tunnel, second option. Seems nice. in the tunnel taking the cancel oh this is a blue creature I have blue creatures it's probably a five five for five I think I'm gonna take that third wall of mist seems a little aggressive No way I play three Wall of Mist. I might sideboard a Wall of Mist though versus some deck maybe. Just piss them off by dropping a thousand Wall of Mist on them. Walking course for a two for two two whose value I don't really care about or do I want to go for more draw? I think I have a lot of two drops now. That I'm pretty happy sacrificing. Not a lot of threes though. I'd like a Scholar of Stars. Do I want second Scholar of Stars? We're almost out of cards here. So if I look at this. So I am splashing white only for removal. There's only three white cards I'm playing. That's questionable. That's questionable. Those are happening. Not playing three of those. Can I? Yeah, okay. Child of Night, Luminous Bonds, Dwindle. It's questionable too. Mirror Image is fine. Scholar's fine. Uncomfortable Chill, I'm not very excited about. The Awakener seems good. Blood Letter's great. Sky Scanner's fine. Scholar of Stars is okay. Snapping Drake is good. Demon of Catastrophe is good. Skeleton Archer is good. Two Headed Zombie is pretty mediocre. Cure of Blood really doesn't have a lot of synergy with this deck at all. Shouldn't have drafted that quite as highly as I did there. We have no way of really triggering, triggering the Blood Lord. Do I even bother? My only ways to gain life are... I mean, it's a 2-4 four flyer for 4. Is that worth splashing for this? As well as Luminous Bonds and Take Vengeance. Could just toss white. Gets rid of some of our biggest removal spells, though. What do I remove things with now? Zero removal cards. Larian Scholar shouldn't be good enough. It's a 2-3 body. I don't have any other 3-drop bodies besides this guy and, that, and the flyer. It's 
I hate giving up luminous bonds. But if I don't have white mana and I'm getting screwed by mana fixing. I mean, I could run maybe two planes or three planes. And run the flyer. Not great value. Doubt lice. Draft system looks fun. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with the draft system. Uh, 25 of 40. I need to add lands. We're still drafting, aren't we? I guess I'm just trying to get a sense of am I going to have enough artifacts for that? And the answer is maybe. Am I going to have enough early game creatures? The answer is maybe. I think I'm more excited about a draw engine than I am about a walking corpse. I guess we'll take that and not use it. I guess we'll take that and not use it. I guess we'll take that and not use it. So we were basically done drafting. It just hadn't really got there. I'm not that excited about this deck. A bit worried that it doesn't have enough going for it. So two planes in a Forsaken Sanctuary seem good. I don't know if it's good enough to run tank be take Vengeance with, especially with the tapping element. Probably not. I'm going to keep the Explosive Apparatus. We have two guys trigger. I'm keeping the oh, these guys, keeping those, keeping that. These are maybes. It's kind of removal. Kind of not. Seems to have good synergy with their deck. It's just a blocker. Maybe not good enough to play. We're at 40 right now, though, with 17 lands. So I don't actually have to remove more right now. I don't know if Epicure Blood is good enough with five. Uh, with this deck. Like, I have no life gain sources. Keyword skeleton giveaway if you guys are interested in MTG arena pass of your own. There's, the market's pretty saturated right now. So uh, I understand if it's not super exciting. Nevertheless, they're free for you from Wizards of the Coast via me. I don't really want to fuck my mana. I want double black on three and double black on four. And I want blue every single time in the early game. I think two white cards, three planes is going to have to be enough. Maybe even two planes. I don't know that this 4-4 four, four guy for 5 really does anything. I feel like if I want a big guy, maybe I should put a big guy in. If I don't want a big guy, maybe I should play something that matters early game, like a Dwindle. Or possibly an uncomfortable chill. Uh, let's try this. We're running two white cards. Two white mana sources is a little bit low. A lot of times this is going to sit in our hand fairly dead. Vengeance is only sometimes removal. It requires more mana fixing. Again, double blacks on temple curve is kind of relevant. Let's try this. Call this deck Rage Picks. And let's go see how it goes. <laughs> 